just in, Hillary wins sick victory, this is disgusting. Hillary Clinton supporters, who have been devastated by her election loss, were able to have a moment of rejoicing when Mrs. Clinton was the recipient of an award last week. The Daily Caller reported that Hillary Clinton won the Democrat Woman of the Year award on Thursday. The moment brought many of her supporters to tears. A choked up Nutchie Courier, president of the Women's National Democratic Club, presented the award to Mrs. Clinton at the event. Courier could barely contain her emotions as she described last year's election outcome as very different from what had been anticipated. The award served as recognition of former Secretary of State Clinton's extraordinary contributions to American politics and international affairs, as well as the inspiration she has provided to women and girls around the world. Some attendees began shedding tears just three minutes after Mrs. Clinton took the stage. Former Secretary Clinton used the occasion to repeat many of the talking points she has recited on the turf or her memoir, What Happened Which, conveniently, was on sale alongside t-shirts at the event. In a 55-minute speech, she spoke negatively about the Trump administration, repeated the played-out Russian collusion narrative, and pointed the finger at sexism. The double standard that applies to women in politics is alive and well, Mrs. Clinton said to Senator Dianne Feinstein, D.C.A., in what was dubbed a fireside chat. Ambitious is a compliment for men and it's not for women, Clinton said. Mrs. Clinton blamed former FBI Director James Comey again for the letter he sent calling for a reopened investigation into her emails just days before the election, accusing him of affecting the momentum of the race. As expected, she made no comment on Donna Brazile's recently released book excerpts, which detail election rigging in the Democrat Party courtesy of the Clinton campaign. Brazile recounted her experience as interim chair of the Democrat National Committee, DNC, tasked with investigating the allegations of collusion between the DNC and Clinton. Brazile quickly found that the Democrat Party was broke, and $2 million in debt. Former President Obama had left the party $24 million in debt, and the only thing holding it together was allowance payments from the Clinton campaign. The Clinton campaign had struck a deal with the DNC nearly a year before the election and only four months after she announced her candidacy to take full control over the DNC in exchange for a joint fundraising pledge that would continue to fund the committee and keep it afloat. When Senator Elizabeth Warren, DMA, was asked by CNN's Jake Tapper if she believed the Clinton campaign rigged the election, Warren responded without hesitation, yes. Former campaign chair for the Bernie Sanders campaign, Jeffrey Weaver, stated to CNN, the behavior the DNC engaged in was egregious, undemocratic and it can't be allowed to happen again. President Trump brought attention to the issue in a two-part tweet. Donna Brazile just stated the DNC rigged the system to illegally steal the primary from Bernie Sanders. Bought and paid for by crooked President Trump has previously expressed frustration with the Department of Justice and their seeming inaction on investigations of Democrats' misconduct, including the Clintons' apparently monetary relationship with Russia. While Hillary Clinton supporters are still mourning her election loss and lauding her so-called accomplishments, including her latest award, her past misdeeds and corruption continue to go unchecked. If this is the standard for future winners of the Democratic Woman of the Year award then the party will continue to struggle under the stranglehold of corruption.